Command blocks are block in Minecraft only obtainable and creative. With one, you can give yourself items, spawn mobs, and even teleport. What? Which is why I'm gonna build a command block in hardcore Minecraft and give it all the abilities a real command block has. But first, I'll need to get gear. And while I do that, let me explain how I'm gonna pull this off. The first thing I need to do is design the command block. So I opened a creative world and... Um... I tried. And I realized that no blocks in Minecraft match the command block's unique color. So I was gonna make a custom texture pack, which shouldn't be too hard, right? Okay, this did not work. Apparently it was harder than I thought. Okay, now it's in Minecraft and it's time to test it. Yo, it looks so good. Now I have to build it in the actual world. And to do this, I would need a ton of different dyes. And while most of them came from flowers or mixing other dyes, one can only be found in a certain biome. But I mean, it's a pretty common biome, so it shouldn't take that long to find. Dude, I've been looking for over an hour. Apparently, there were no deserts around my base, but I was determined to make this command block in time. And after a while, I found one, but my mic was off, so you'll just have to trust that I was excited. And now, I need to build the command block. And now, I'm done, and I think it looks pretty good. And now, it's time to get started on the actual command. The first command I'm gonna be doing is slash C. Because for this project, I'm gonna need a lot of slime. And slimes only spawn in certain chunks. And in order to find the chunks that slimes spawn in, I'm gonna need the world seed. So I'm gonna download the seed finder mod. Which basically, after a few steps, calculates the world seed. And after loading it into Minecraft, why do I see red boxes in the ground? Oh, they're mob spawners. Yo, what? Now, in order to find the seed, I'll need to find six shipwrecks. And that should be the sixth one. And just like that, I had calculated the world seed. And then, using the world seed, I found a slime chunk. Okay, so apparently, I need iron and redstone to complete this. But in the middle of building this, I got a raid, meaning I could get some totems. Next, I had to smell all the iron I collected and turn it into an iron golem. Okay, there we go. And next, I needed magma blocks. And now we just add the magma to the slime farm. And after a little bit more work, the slime farm was done. But I still need to test the mechanism. The problem is, when I recorded this part of the video, I actually set my mic to 100% volume. So the audio sounds like this. Wait, 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 wait. And, and, and. So to save your ears, I'm just gonna say that it worked. But I haven't tested if it actually makes slime balls. And in order to test, I need to go over 100 blocks above it and wait. And after about 30 minutes, I went back down to check how many slime balls it has made. Oh, clutch. <laughs> um, but after that, I went down to check and... Yo, it actually worked. This is the first time I've actually been able to make a functioning slime farm. Now, I actually need to build a contraption to make the command block work. And I kind of suck at redstone, but I think this is gonna work. Okay, now when I hit this button, it should give me the world seed. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, and... Okay, wait. And there it is. Now, I had gotten slash C done, but I wanted to do something a lot more crazy. I wanted to do slash give. A command you can do to give yourself Minecraft's rarest items in an instant. And even give yourself items that you can't get in survival Minecraft. And I was gonna recreate this command in its entirety in survival Minecraft by... Getting items that you can't get in survival Minecraft. Let me explain. In older versions, there were glitches to get items that you can't get nowadays. And I was gonna use this to my advantage to get items that you literally can't get anymore in Minecraft. But I decided that first I'd start by getting the easier ones. The first one being the enchanted golden apple, which I got earlier in the video. And the next one I'm gonna be getting is the netherite block. And in order to get this, the first thing I would need is a sheep farm. And after getting a ton of sheep, it was time to actually farm for the netherite. This is taking way too long. Which is why I'm going to build this. A TNT duper that can go back and forth clearing out a massive area. The first thing I need is slime balls. But I have a slime farm, meaning all I need to do is... Wait. 
then craft the slime balls and the slime blocks, and then craft everything else I need. Except there's a problem. I'm missing one thing that is necessary for this contraption to work. And the thing I'm missing is a dead coral fan. And this item is only found in coral reef biomes. But I mean, those biomes are pretty common, right? Yeah, they're a lot less common than I thought they were. But if I want to complete this, I'll need to find that biome. Little did I know, it would require me running over 10,000 blocks away. And after over an hour of just running, this happened. Wait, is that the subscribe button? If I was you, I would, I would press that. <laughs> Anyways, what I really found was this. Yes, I found one. This took so long. And that is everything that I needed. Now it's time to head all the way back home. And after I got back to my home base, I went to the nether. If I wanted to clear out a massive area in the nether, the first thing I would need to do is make it flat. Come on, come on. <laughs> yes! Now that I'm done flattening out the area, it's time to build the machine. And now I'm done and I just need to test it. Okay, uh, the tutorial didn't show how to turn it on, but I think you just hit this switch. <gasps> it's working! And then it stops. Perfect. I had accidentally built it wrong without even noticing, meaning I would need to rebuild the entire thing. And now I'm done again. So let's turn it on. Bro, did it really blow up itself? Attempt three. Dude, it actually worked. What? I have been doing this for five hours hours but after all that work it finally worked and i got so much netherite from it and i'm almost done with the slash give command i only need two more blocks but it's 3 a.m i'm going to sleep <laughs> and now it's the next day i have most of the netherite i need but i still need a few more scraps so i decided i'd take all the spare wool i had and and that should be all of it this has taken way too long but i finally have the netherite block i needed as long as full netherite armor but the next item i need is the dragon egg now to get the dragon egg i need to beat the entire game but to be honest i don't feel like wasting your time so yep i got the dragon egg and it totally didn't take three hours Please subscribe. But before I continue, I do want to get an elytra because that would make this whole thing a lot easier. Oh, I see one and it doesn't have an elytra. Awesome. Okay, I found another one and I think this one has an elytra. You're so bad. Wabam. There it is, finally. Bro, leave me alone. And I'll take that, and we're off. And now I gotta head all the way back home. And there is the portal. Now, while I take a break from the slash give command, I wanted to do the slash summon command. And I wanted to make it possible for this command block to summon the most rare mobs in all of Minecraft. Those being the pink sheep and the blue axolotl. The first one I was gonna get is the pink sheep. With them having a less than 2% chance of spawning, it would take a while to find. But I set off. Even though it was super rare, with a few hours of searching, I could definitely find it. But I can't say the same for the axolotl, which is why I'm doing the sheep first. This is very boring. Who knew that running around for literal hours wouldn't be that fun? Yes, I found one and it didn't even take that long. I'll name you Belanca. I am going to bury them for right now though. And now after getting the pink sheep, I'm going to get the blue axolotl. And finding the pink sheep didn't even take that long. So hopefully getting the blue axolotl won't take that long either. And the way we're going to do this is by getting two axolotls and just breeding them. And the best place to find axolotls is in lush caves, which spawn under these trees. 
You're coming with me and you too. And now I need to find tropical fish because that's how you breed axolotls. This place looks good. It's a village right next to a beach that has a ton of tropical fish. And now I'm going to set up a temporary base because getting a blue axolotl will take a while. And I'll call this place axolotl outpost. The first thing I was going to do is make a little pond and put a bunch of fish in it. That way I can feed them to the axolotls and breed them. But I'm not going to spend my whole time on this island just breeding axolotls. Because another command I wanted to do was slash XP. And the fastest way to get XP is with villagers. And I live right next to a village. In order to get a lot of XP, I would need a lot of emeralds. And this villager sells one emerald for 26 potatoes. So I was gonna build a massive potato farm while I farmed axolotls. Because farming axolotls is very boring. I ran out of dirt, so I need to go get some more. So I pretty much just spent five hours building a potato farm and farming axolotls. What am I doing with my life? But by the end of it, I had a two layer potato farm and a ton of axolotls. But we have one massive problem. This dolphin jumped onto my crops. He just kind of hopped up there and jumped around for a bit. But while looking at my pool of axolotls, I noticed something. Something blue. And I didn't know if I actually just saw a blue axolotl or if I was just going insane from breeding axolotls for five hours straight. But after looking at it closer, okay, I swear I just saw something blue. I don't know if it was a blue axolotl or just one of like the kind of blue axolotls. <gasps> Wait, yo! I had gotten a blue axolotl, but we had another problem. I had spawned so many axolotls that my game was lagging, meaning I would need to kill every single one of them. But it was very hard because it was so laggy that I couldn't crit. And whenever I hit one of them, they gave themselves regeneration. But I thought of a way to kill them a lot faster. If I place sand around them and then sand on top of them, they go up to the top, making it a lot easier to crit them. And while I kill over a thousand axolotls, did you know that they're the seventh most cute species out of 8.7 million? And I just killed every single axolotl except for the blue one. This took so long to get, but I can finally head back home. And we're off. And now it's time to literally break Minecraft. And like I said earlier in the video, there are old versions that allow you to get blocks you can only get in creative mode. And I'm gonna go back to one of those versions, get the block that I need, and come back to 1.19. So I put all my stuff in a chest and switched versions. Now we're in Minecraft Beta 1.19 pre-release 3, which has a very special glitch that allows us to get an item that you can't get anymore in Minecraft. There it is, the two glass pillars. That's what we need. And the reason we need these is because under them is one of Minecraft's rarest structures, Stronghold. But we weren't coming to the Stronghold to beat the game. Yo, show my God, why did that scare me? We were coming here to perform one of Minecraft's easiest glitches. Yes! Now you're probably wondering what this block is. Well, this is actually the old end portal frame. And I just picked it up. Let's go. Okay, okay. And now it was time to leave the stronghold. But as I left, this started playing. And when this started playing, it started to remind me of when I was a kid playing Minecraft. Making my first world, making my first house, killing my first mobs. And then I started to think about how far I've come in this world. I mean, I started with nothing, and I've gotten Minecraft's rarest mobs, and even an end portal block. And I was about to recreate one of Minecraft's most powerful blocks. And we're out. Okay, um, okay, we're just gonna go up a little bit, I guess. And now it's time to switch versions. And now that I'm back in 1.19, I'll need to find my base. Mm. There it is. <laughs> I was very tired. But now the only thing left to do is to construct the mechanism. The first one being slash XP. Now slash XP is done. Now it's time to make slash summon for the axolotl. Let's see if this works. 
And now I'm doing the last command. The slash summon for the sheep. Okay, now let's see if this works. What? And now, after over a month of working on this project, I was finally done. I had made a working command block in Minecraft Hardcore. And if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe, because I'm going to keep this series going.